Shalom Makim. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let Aki am out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Halaki from the JMS Colorado account coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh with another video. And this time I have an article from, uh, from Fox News. And it reads, U.S. shoots down ICBM in space from warship for first time in successful test. You see, this is prophecy, man. So they're practicing these drills on shooting down ICBMs. And why, why are they doing this, man? Because they know it's on the horizon, man. You see? This great World War III is on the horizon. And how does the scripture tell you it's going to be fought, man? Let's get that real quick. How does the most I say this World War III is going to be fought? Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. You see? That's how ancient battles were fought, man. Close hand combat, swords, shields, spears. You see? Having to get up on your adversary to slay him, man. That's why your garment will be rolled in blood. You see? Want to get, get a good illustration? Go watch Troy. Go watch uh, Gladiator. Go watch uh, Game of Thrones. Go watch uh, Braveheart. You see? Spartacus 300. It shows you how ancient battles were fought. Sword and shield, man. You see? Face to face. Right? But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. You see, this third world's war, war is going to be with burning and full, fuel of fire in the form of what? ICBM missiles, man. Intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. That's what's being prepared in the earth, and that's why you have, and that's why you have America testing to shoot down ICBMs, man. So let's read this article. We're gonna go into Joel two because Joel two tells you that they will not be successful in this feat they're trying to accomplish with shooting down these missiles, man. So it reads: U.S. shoots down ICBM. In space from warship for first time in successful tests. The ICBM target missile launch from a test range in the marshlands. So it goes on to read An intercontinental ballistic missile was shot down in space from a warship for the first time during a successful demonstration on Tuesday, according to the Missile Defense Agency. The ICBM target missile launched from a test range in the marshlands located in the Pacific Ocean between Hawaii and the Philippines around 12.50 a.m. and was shot down in space by a missile launched from the guided missile destroyer USS John Finn at sea, the MDA announced. It was destroyed by the advanced SM-3 block IIA ballistic missile defense interceptor made by Raytheon Missiles and Defense and co-developed with Japan's Mitsubishi Heavy Duty Industries. Now, Mitsubishi making missiles? <laughs> A statement said, Damn, all right. This was an, an incredible accomplishment and critical milestone for the Aegis B, BMD SM3 Block IIA program, said uh, MDA Director Vice Admiral John Hill. We have demonstrated that, a, that an Aegis BMD equipped vessel equipped with the SM Block the SM-3 block IIA missile can defeat an ICBM class target. <sighs> Not according to the scriptures. Which is a step in the process of determining its feasibility as part of an architecture for layered defense of the homeland. Brian was Brian Roselli, Vice President of Strategic Missile Defense at Raytheon Missiles and Defense, said the test was a first of its kind and shows that the U.S. has a viable option for a new layer of defense against long range threats. That's what you think, man. You EA, man. You EA must have been deceived by the Heavenly Father, man. So it goes on to read.
Previous tests to shoot down ICBMs were conducted using ground-based interceptors launched from bases in Alaska and California. My congratulations to the entire t test team, including our military and industry partners, who helped us to achieve this milestone hill added. Tom Caraco, a missile defense expert and senior fe fellow at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, hailed the operation as a milestone for the homeland defense. The operational flexibility implied by today's success creates a bridge forward toward a future next generation homeland defense capability, he told Fox News in an email Tuesday. It also signals hope for better re realigning our it also signals hope for better realigning our regional missile defense efforts to renew strategic competition with the likes of China, such as with Aegis Ashore in Guam. It now falls to the next administration to make those big bets and take those next steps. The U.S. military has been racing to build its, to build up its missile defense interceptor forces on land and sea as the threat from North Korea, China, and Russia's nuclear forces continue to grow. Whew. North Korea unveiled its largest intercontinental ballistic missile to date during, the, during its massive military parade on October 10th, the 75th anniversary of its workers' party. In 2017, North Korea test fired three ICBMs, which most experts say now puts the entire United States in range. The U.S. Missile Defense Agency maintains 44 ground based interceptors at Fort Greeley, Alaska, and Van Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Warships equipped with ballistic missile defense interceptors, such as the guided missile destroyer USS John Paul Jones, are currently on deployment. And none of that shit matters, man, because at the end of the day, you can run all the tests you want to run, man. But what did the most I say about this situation? Let's, do, let's go to Joel 3. I mean, Joel 2, so like it. Yep. Let's go to Joel 2. Let's see what the most I has to say about these ICBMs, man. Because the, these missiles are written about in the scriptures. Joel 2 and 1. Blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And that's what we're doing, man. We're giving you Jake's warning to tell you that great judgment is coming from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And we're telling you to repent and believe upon Yahweh Shah, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, in hopes of salvation, man. Because the Most High is about to unleash all hell upon this planet Earth. See? So Joel 2 and 1. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah cometh. For it is not at hand. It is closer each and every day, man. It gets closer each and every day, man. Verse 2. A day of darkness and of gloominess. A day of clouds and of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and a strong. That have not been ever the like. Neither shall be any more after it. Even to the years of many generations. Now this is talking about the missiles, you see. This great people in the strongest talking about the army of the Most High, these ICBM missiles resting in these silos, resting on these warships, resting in these nuclear submarines. You see? That's another portion of the Most High's army, man. You see? And after they're shot off, that, that type of technology will not be on the earth ever again, man. There will be no need for ICBM missiles when the kingdom of heaven is established, man. You see? It won't, be need, it won't be no need for weapons of war in the kingdom of heaven. Verse 3. A fire devoured before them. What's the fire that devoured before them? The ICBM, the, the, the warhead, man. You see? The nuclear warhead that rests in the, in the top of these missiles, man. You see? And behind them a flame burner. What's the flame that burneth behind them? The rocket propulsion system to get them from point A to point B. Say from uh, Russia to America, from uh, North Korea to America, from China to America, France to America, Europe to America, India to America. You see? That's how they get from point A to point B, man, by the rocket propulsion system, man. That's the fire that burneth behind them. The land, as is, the land is as the Garden of Eden before them. It's all built up. You got buildings and trees and... All type of greenery, you see? It's built up as the Garden of Eden before them. Before they come, it's like the Garden of Eden, right? And behind them, a desolate 
wilderness. Why? Because of the destructive power these missiles are going to bring, man. You see? Yeah, and nothing shall escape them. Meaning what? Everything is going to be destroyed, man. By way of these missiles. You see? That's why the Apostle Peter said this. Second Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord shall, will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, making them as what? As a desolate wilderness, man. You see? The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up, because what? Nothing will escape the destruction of these missiles, man. You see? That's what's coming. So going back to Joel chapter 2 and 3, a fire devoured before them and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yeah, and nothing shall escape them. Everything is going to be taken down by way of this thermonuclear fire and the fire that comes from these uh, chariots as well, man, the so-called UFOs. Verse 4, the appearance of them are at is as the appearance of horses. Why? Talking about the power they have. And as horsemen, so shall they run. A horseman is swift, man. You already got Russia with hypersonic missiles that can get from Russia to America in less than 13 minutes. That's swift. That's fast, man. That's powerful. You see? Verse 5, like the noise of chariots on the top of mountains, shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that divides the stubble. As a strong people set in battle array. Right? Verse 6. Before their face, people shall be much pained. Because when these missiles are shot off, all hope is going to be lost for you people, man. All this shit you talking about, make America great again, keep America great, this and that and the other. All that pride that you are exhibiting in the earth is going to be gone, man. You see? Is going to be gone, man. Because when these missiles are shot off, you're going to understand and know that you never had any power, man. That you had never had any control. You're going to know that this is from a higher power, man. You see? And you're going to have pain and anguish upon your face because you know that this is your demise, man. And we have been telling you this. Joel 2 and 6, before their face, the people shall be much pain. All faces shall gather Blackness, man. You see? All faces shall gather blackness, man. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb up the wall like men of war. And they shall march every one on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. Meaning what? Wherever the most I want these missiles to go, that's where they're going to go, man. You're not going to shoot it off and it's going to overshoot a target. You see? Not going to shoot it off and it, it, it goes in the opposite direction of what the most I want. No, man. They're going to go exactly where the, where the most I want them to go, and they're not going to break their ranks, man. Verse 8, neither shall one thrust another. You're not going to have no mid no mid collisions between the ICBMs, man. You see? They're not going to thrust one another. They're not going to collide with one another, man. They're going to go exactly where the most I want them to go. They shall walk everyone in his path where the most I has ordained them to go at, and when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. You see that? When they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. Now, what is this talking about? The same thing we just read in this article. You see? The missile defense system is the sword, man. Let's get that proved that according to what the scriptures say. When they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. When they shoot these missiles out of these missile defense systems, they're, they're, they're not going to stop these ICBMs from coming, man, because it tells you when you go into the word sword, weapon, missile, sprout, Missile weapon. When the when the a missile a missile of attack, i.e. a spear, you see. A dart put off sword weapon. So when these missiles are shot off and they try to counteract it with shooting off a a, a missile defense missile, is not going to stop these weapons. So all this target practice and all this training that you're doing is for nothing, man. You see, it's for nothing. The Most High has ordained these missiles to come and to destroy America, and that's what's going to happen. And there ain't no missile defense uh, system going to stop these ICBMs from coming, man. So it says what? 
when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. Meaning what? The, the, the uh, missile defenses are not going to have any type of effect on these missiles that are shot from these different countries, man. You see that? So everything you're doing is, is, is in vain, man. Everything you're doing is in vain. Verse 9, they shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. You see? And that's how these ICBMs operate. They're shot into the upper atmosphere. You see? Being, oh, let's get that real quick. They're shot into the upper atmosphere to be what? Bathe in heaven, man. Yeah, I pass it. Right, well, Isaiah 34. Isaiah 34 and uh, uh, 4. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. You see that? And the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll. It shall be dissolved by what? By that thermonuclear fire. It shall be rolled together as a scroll going into the mushroom cloud, man, that the missiles make when they when they detonate. And all the host, and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth from off the vine and as a fallen fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. You see that? What's the sword that's going to be bathed in heaven, man? These ICBMs, when they're shot into the upper atmosphere, shot into the upper atmosphere to travel to their destination, being bathed in the heavens. And what's going to happen? Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Who, who is Idumia, man? Esau, Edom. Let's prove that. It shall come down upon Idumia. Edom. Edomite. Idumian, descendants of Esau. And where's the chief dwelling place of, uh, of the Edomite now, man? Here in America. America will be spiritual Idumia, man. So these missiles are going to be shot, out, being shot off, being bathed in the heavens to come down upon Idumia, which is America, man. You see? And upon the people of my curse to judgment. You Edomites are the most high's people. Uh, you Edomites are the people of the most high's curse to judgment, man. You see, and every time you read something about, about Esau, his end is always met with what? With fire, man. That's the reward of the wicked, man. Verse 6. The sword of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and, and with the blood of lambs and goats. With the fat of the kidneys of rams. For Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh have a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. You see, that's what's coming. You see, this is what's about to take place right here in the land of America, man. So all this missile training, all these trying to uh, intercept ICBMs before they detonate, or uh, before they uh, make, uh, yeah, before they detonate, it's all for nothing, man. You see, nose ass damn either might. You can listen. <laughs> you can listen all day. Yep. So going on, verse 7. And the unicorn shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. Why? For it is the day of Yahweh's vengeance, and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. And that's why the Most High is bringing this great destruction upon this place. For what you have done unto the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the chosen people of the Lord, man. That's why this great fire is coming. Go back and look at your rap sheet, man. Go back and look at your track record. Go back and look at the history that you're so proud of, man. You proud to be an American, right? You see? How was America founded, man? Off the rape, robbery, and murder. Free, free slave labor. You see? Of so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And now the judgment. You see? For what you have done unto the, the Most High's chosen people is coming, and it's coming in the way, in the form of thermonuclear fire, man. Verse 9. And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become burning pitch. It shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. From generation to generation it shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. And it said the same thing in Joel 2, man. That the land is as, is built up as the Garden of Eden before them and after them a, a great desolation. That's what's coming to America. So you can train with these fucking missile defense systems all you want to. It's for nothing. It's for not, man. You see? 
because it's the will for them. It's the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah for these ICBMs to prevail on over anything that you try to throw at them, man. As it is written, verse ten: The earth shall quake before them, the heavens shall tremble, the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the star and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Why? Why? Because of all the smoke that's going to be lifting up from this place, man. To block out the lights of heaven, man. This is what's coming. And there is nothing that you can do to stop it because it's the Most High's will. You see that? And Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great. For he is strong that executeth his word. It's all the will of the Heavenly Father, man. The Most High made these weapons for one purpose and one purpose only, man. For the destruction of Babylon the Great. And for the destruction of the land of Israel as well, man. That's the Most High's will. You see? For the day of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah is great and very terrible. And who can abide in it? Only the remnant will survive this, man. All through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah. You see? Let me get this one. Let me I'll wrap it up on this. Who will let it, man? Who will let it, man? So Isaiah 40, uh... Yup, Isaiah 43... 13, let me see. Yo, let me see right here. Uh, Isaiah 13 and uh, Isaiah 43 and 13. Yeah, before the day was, I am he. You see that? Before anything was, it was always the most high, man. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? You see that? The most high is going to work, and who's going to stop him, man? Who's going to tell the most high what he can and can't do? Who's going who's gonna to try to do anything against the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh? You see? All that pride that you eat about or, or, or displaying in the earth, the Most High is about to cast that shit down, man. You see? And his great wrath and his fury, man. So, yeah, these, these devils are trying to practice down, shooting down ICBMs, and it's all for nothing, man. Because at the end of the day, the Most High's will is for America to be destroyed by way of 200 million thermonuclear warheads, as it is written. Thus said the Bible, thus said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful let I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity doing the work as Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah is commanded you to do. With that, I'm gonna say Shalom, Wah, Abba, Abba.